I'm looking at sneaking up behind me over here. <laughs> NASCAR fans, y'all make some noise. Rexton 
and Melissa and Kyle. Okay. <laughs> Did I say that? Let's start there. Uh, it's fun uh, with him and his age and the way that he's absorbing all the racing. It'll be different. You know, Kyle and I were blue collar kids uh, just working out of the gas station or working for the water district trying to work our way up. Ruxton has a little bit different responsibility. And so that's the next step on teaching him things like uh, Bill Elliott taught Chase Elliott, you know, or Ryan Blaney had his dad Dave Blaney. Uh, Harrison Burton had his Jeff Burton. So that's, that's the next uh, next phase for things with Ruxton. Well, somebody in the crowd obviously mentioned your uh, broadcaster role, your analysis hat. You're pretty good at it. So uh, put on that hat now. Give us some thoughts on what you think we're going to see today. So I was surprised with uh, the Penske speed yesterday. Uh, we'll see if they're able to maintain that for the long run. Uh, actually, our cars were really good on the long run. It's just a matter of the short run speed and the restarts uh, for 2311. That's that's kind of been a little bit of weakness. That's the, the short run speed and the, and the fire off on stickers. Uh, and then the, those Chevys, they're, they're sneaky. They're everywhere, right? I mean, they're just, they're going in the hack one year in the spring, you know? <laughs> to Bowman as well. He's, he's struggling with some of the same things I am with eye movement and hearing and things from, from his accident. But I think uh, Chase is going to be strong, Blaze is going to be strong, and then, you know, Penske cars have to show run speed. So that, that's my announcer voice. Yes, Tyler Reddick. Pass it up. Well, you brought up Tyler. I was going to bring him up next. We just chatted with him. He obviously had a lot of kind words to say about you, but what are your thoughts on Tyler? Tyler's one of those guys. You know, I've, I've been with Larson at Ganassi, I was with Keselowski at Penske, Kenseth at Roush. Uh, I'm seeing that with Reddick, and so that's that's my prediction. I, I'm oh, seeing yeah. Reddick. Yeah. Do you know he's a two-time Xfinity champion? I heard. And he was with Junior Motorsports and then yeah. back to back at RCR. <laughs> so the kids already got two championships with two teams in the Xfinity series. So I, I like his tenacity, I like his drive, and just the way he tosses it down into the corner, you can't teach that. He's a great person to off the racetrack as well. So, good person to uh, hand your seat over to. I'm sure he's very appreciative. Yeah. Well, Chris, I really appreciate the time. Um, before we go, is there anything that you want to share with the crowd? They all came out here to, to see you. Is there any words of advice that you have for race fans here in Las Vegas? You know what's crazy is uh, if you guys can think back to 2020, COVID, and nobody was here, and I won the race, and I still felt like everybody's spirit was here. So, just yes. think about it. Woo!